Hi, it's Deja from CrochetEverAfter.com again, and right now I'm going to show you how to do the extended single crochet. Right, to do the extended single crochet, what I have here right now is already a row of completed single crochets and one row of extended single crochets, and I wanted to make it before I showed you how to do it so that you could see a couple things. One, the extended crochet, you can tell, okay, here's the bottom of it and here's the top. It's a lot taller than just a regular single crochet. It's almost the height of um, a double crochet, not quite, but almost. So what I did, I wanted to show you at the very beginning of this extended single crochet row, I only did one chain. And you can see how squashed my extended single crochets are over here. So I wanted you to see the difference from this side to this side in the size of my extended single crochets because you hear single crochet so you think you would only chain one at the beginning of your row but because of how tall these are you need to chain two. So I wanted to start here so you could see how to begin. Always if you're doing extended single crochets chain two at the beginning of your row. And then if you've ever done a foundation single crochet, it's the exact same steps, except you're working into stitches instead of that chain two. So I'm going to insert my hook in, pull up a loop, and like a foundation single crochet, I yarn over and pull through just the first loop on my hook, and then I yarn over and I pull through both loops to finish. So what it does is it kind of gives it one extra chain in height. So again I insert my hook, yarn over and pull that up, then I yarn over and pull through just that first loop, yarn over and pull through the second. So you can see that it's almost looking like a double crochet but not quite. It doesn't have the looped quality. It has more of a chain effect. So again I insert my hook and pull up my loop chain through, yarn over, and pull through both. And you notice to keep, to keep consistent stitches, when I pull through, I always go back to my shaft, but when I do this first chain, I leave my chain the same size, and I leave this loop the same size as my shaft. I don't sit there and I don't pull it really loose, because then I'm going to have inconsistent stitches. So I yarn over and pull through, and that's going to be the, the key to keeping these all the same size, is keeping everything on your shaft. Don't pull too, t too high up after you do that first chain. Yarn over, pull through the first one, yarn over, pull through. And you can see how much taller these stitches are than just a normal single crochet, which is this first one down here. It's just this little tiny stitch here. I'll actually turn here and I'll do some single crochets so you can see the difference. Chain one for regular single crochets, chain two for extended single crochets. This is a, a really easy stitch and it's nice because it creates some height. It's a little bit more denser than a double crochet in between. And you can see, here's my single crochets up here, you can see how much shorter they are, almost half the size. So you can alternate rows, that could be a really neat stitch pattern. You can do um, a single crochet and then an extended single crochet and then another single crochet and it's going to squash your, your extended single crochet and create even like kind of a little mini bobble. That could be very cool also. So that's how you do the extended single crochet pretty easy and there you go